Oh, I'm sorry guys. Um, hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Union Crimes video. So, well, usually every Sunday is where we have new updates and new information, but unfortunately, there's nothing. Nothing I can say with, I actually go to every single part where I can get my news of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Usually from Kingdom Hearts Insider, um, that in this case, this is where I get information. Most of the information on the Twitter page. And then when I go to Romuloid's channel, um, Romuloid uh, uh, just give us the information about what is the information about March. We actually have two more two more months left on Kingdom Hearts Union Cross on Japan and three more in global. So in this case, um, they, uh, they didn't actually provide us anything new about this. Um, they say that the Colosseum can be purchased from the Moogle shop for 100 jewels, so there's no point in trying hard unless you need gems or want to rank, so. There's no information about the Robolate situation, so if you want to participate on the Colosseum, there's no point. So pretty much there's no point. Um, we went to the Square Enix Bridge, where I can get more information about Kingdom Hearts Unicross. Cross. Nothing important, like, still the information mentioned from the director, um, the, you know, the the draw spirit part points the, the information and pretty much from the other one that is the insider.com um, though this is just the last thing that we're getting that pretty much is just the uh, uh, what's it called the the previous VIP so there's nothing nothing that we'll be able to go with it. now I just want to go ahead and talk my honest opinion about how the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross failed. Um, this is um, Roboloid's page. This is where we can get all the information from all the medals that we got here. So I'll be more happy to let you know. Well, this is from the stream from the Little Onion because this this situation got uh, wake up into my interest. So there was a person I don't remember his name that he told us that from the anniversary from the anniversary we already knew that the, the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross was going to die so he gave us a heads up so let's talk about the previous banners about what we actually got here so everything looked good when we got the five um, you know the five mercy pools the five mercy pools that we started from from the Herring Will, Kingdom Hearts 3 Neon, Aroxas, the, the you know the Final Fantasy 7 remake um, banners that were amazing the Sorcerer was not so good, the Reaper was not so good, so Riku, Yen, so well, we got the point until the last five Mercy pull, which in this case was Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora, Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku, and Kingdom Hearts 3 Kairi, which in this case, I went for the Riku and Kairi. Then we got the section, and later on, this is where we got the anniversary. So, the first anniversary were not so good, okay? The first anniversary was not good because they wanted to they wanted to get a lot a lot of money from here because they they were falling price deals the banners were bad and absolutely everybody was getting a big 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 punch to the face to square enix because they let him know that the banners were not so bad so they said okay you know what we don't want people to leave in our anniversary this is something that we don't want people to leave so what they ended up is they re they reworked the banners, yeah they re they actually reworked them. And once that they got reworked, uh, what they have done was like, hey, you know what? We understand your situation. We won't be able to do that kind of situation again. So from my point of view, this is going to be a ten mercy pull, falling price deal, and as well you're able to get either a supernova plus medal, not normal medals within the next 10 pulls and to be honest i really like it because in the matter of fact in the banner of kairi riku or sora you'll be able to get either one of those medals within those banners and there was a situation with the drop point banner as well that um you'll be able to get the new kr number 25 which in this case was very amazing then we got the same for illustrated kingdom Hearts 3 terra ventus and aqua they actually give us the same situation um, then we got, you know, uh, uh, for the last time that it was illustrated, Kingdom Hearts 3 Lee, Roxas, and Xion. Which in this case, if you were able to um, get, I don't know how much things, I think that you needed to have a lot of 100 Sora and Moogle Beast, so you'd be able to get the Flantaxi 7. And if you were able to get a lot, you'd be able to get this ban um, this medal with a boosted one. And of course, you were able to get the Strelitia medal if you got either one of those medals within the 9 medals within... Um, three times which in this case if you got 
Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora, Riku, and Kairi, you were participating to get the Strelitzia. Then if you got Illustrated Taro and Tessanaqua, you were able to get another Strelitzia. Then you got the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 3 Lee, Roxas, and Xion, and you'd be able to get the Strelitzia. Or, you'd be able to get three Kairis, you already got the Strelitzia. Three, uh, three Soras, you'd be able to get Strelitzia. Two Aquas, one Ventus, you'd be able to get Strelitzia. Like, every single one of those medals, like the nine medals, if you actually have a total of three of those new medals, you'd be able to get the Strelitzia. Which in this case, it was very amazing. I must admit that this was a very amazing um, deal. But, in the matter of fact, of course, this was just the top of the cherry where the Kingdom Hearts community was starting to be happy. Then later on, things ended up so bad here. So, before the once the, uh, the, the anniversary was over, they started to do the situation that, hey, you know what, we're not going to make a 10 Mercy pool, but you'll be able to get Supernova Plus medals and the next medal within the next 10 pools, which in this case, that, this started with Benita's Remnant. Then later on, we got the Axel, which in this case, I'll let you know that Benita's Remnant is a good VIP, um, PvP medal, and then Axel is a very good copycat medal, which in this case, it was the same as Kingdom Hearts 3D. Now, the controversy um, um, started here. So, we got the same situation that, you know, in order for you to get the Melody Memory Kyrie, you need to go ahead and pull three times, like, you, you needed to have the four Stainic Glasses, within the next 10 pulls and they were not falling price deal that is where Square Enix was desperate to get money and you know the part was that um, you know the static glass were not so amazing uh, maybe the number 12 the, 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 sorry the number 11 because it had like a speed reflection and defense peers within 100% on the supernova ability but the static glass number 10 12 and 13 they were not they were not amazing and they even started to buy the VIP because the illustrated Kingdom Hearts 3 Mickey was actually much better than those four banners then the high score challenge ended up here. I think that that's where they wanted to revive the, the situation of Kingdom Hearts because, you know, the high score challenge was just like giving us gems, 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 and it's like, hey, you know what? I don't care about the gems. It's just so stupid. And, well, they ended up giving us more good things here that, in the matter of fact, um, they wanted to revive the game because pretty much the older high score challenge were much amazing and much um, powerful than that time. So... They actually wanted to go ahead and do something about this, so hey, you know what, let's go ahead and give the high score challenge something much better. And that's why they ended up giving us a high score challenge. So Then we got the Black Friday deal, we got the Sephiroth and the Cloud. Believe me, those banners were amazing. Like, you were not able to get the medal within the next three pulls, but you were guaranteed to have either one of the lists, one of those medals, and that is where the money were starting to get over with. So, the jewels were moving on those two banners. Of course, this was for Cyber Monday, this was from Black Friday, and either one of those banners were just so amazing. So, pretty much on the other hand, yeah, they were actually some amazing though. And this is where Square Enix were started to, hey, you know what, we're sustaining ourselves. Now, things started to be so bad when everything was going to be bad though. So first, the controversy from the Santa Glass, if you were able to get 120k of jewels to get the melody memory Kyrie, congratulations for people who didn't that is where the wallets and the credit cards ended up going here because obviously everybody want the melody memory Kyrie. multiplayer was bad strength was kind of more or less but in the matter of fact the melody memory Kyrie was a renova medal that you'll be able to renew every single one of your medals which in this case was just so amazing but melody memory sora this is the banner where everything started to see that they were trying to get desperate. So, in a matter of fact, Melody Memory Sora, you were able to get this medal within the next 10 pulls, but you were not guaranteed to have this medal. And of course, if you pull 10 times, maybe you were able to get the medal within the list, which in this case, there were nine medals and then the Melody Memory Sora. Now you would be thinking, nah, you won't get the Melody Memory Sora by that time. And even so, the effect and the animation is just so dumb. So many people did really wanted to skip it. And there was no money in there. So then they tried the Mysterious Figure. They did the same as Melody Memory Sora. Mysterious Figure was not amazing. Maybe it was just a Colosseum medal. But in a matter of fact, this medal was just not so amazing. Now, everything started to be a little bit cooled down with the strategy of their money. Because in that case, that with the Stenic Glass number 14, you were able to get the medal within the next five pulls. But 
you were able to get either Benito's Remnant or the Axel B uh, medal. I do remember about that one. So this is where they started to cool down the situation with the money. And obviously, I got the Zeta Glass and the RNG here. Which in this case, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss the, that RNG to be honest. The Zeta Glass number 14 is just so amazing. <sighs> then we got another banner from the Soul Banner that it was Joe and Mr. Minutes. To be honest, it was not so amazing. The animation was dumb. And pretty much that's where everything started to turn apart. 10 pulls, and maybe you were able to get Joy and Mr. Melons. And they were and this was a high score challenge two times, but like I mentioned, it was just not an amazing matter. Then everything started to be cool again with the Axel B, Roxas, and Xion, the Happy New Year um, banners, which in this case you were able to get either one of those three medals within the next 10 pulls, which in this case everybody started to see like hey you know what this is actually very good because those banners you'll be able to get it within the next temples and the renova medals so it was like hey it actually worth it so yeah it was worth it so that is where the money started to drop in like hey you know what uh, maybe for people who were actually getting those banners were absolutely very amazing um and a matter of fact we were actually getting free jewels free jewels we were getting like um 3k of jewels for each week which in this case maybe that's understandable like why they actually ended to do this but you know from the anniversary they started to do that of course but this i don't know if it was a present or they they wanted to do all that situation though so i wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be able to to let you know guys um then illustrated anthem like in this case the illustrated anthem that is something that i didn't want to talk about because um it was a copycat medal but it was a certain percent chance that you'd be getting a critical strike and it was a good medal but even so it's nothing that i want to remember now things started to get desperate with square enix when everybody was trying to say what about the melody memory Kyrie?" with the melody memory Kyrie, they started to do the vip situation again so that is where people like hey you know what our banners are not actually getting good just because of the fact that you're not able to get the banner within the next five pulls let's do a vip so once that they do the vip that is everything was starting to get like what the hell what what, what they're trying to do what what is going on so pretty much in that case melon memory kyber b um they wanted to give us the vip treatment again so for people who really want it then there you go you'll be able to get it within the next five pulls without any other metal and you're guaranteed to have the melon memory kyber within the next five pulls they want it to be reasonable because in the matter of fact who wants to pull for 10 mercy pull and net not even get the medal that's so absurd so once that they did the melody memory carry situation though well me that i actually bought vip every time um i was able to get the melody memory carry v without any issues but then we got the, the i think that they didn't want to get the controversy again that hey you know what what they're giving you the the vip treatment again then they started they stopped that and they actually did the same as the standing class number 14 and, and the axle sorry the anthem that in this case you'll be able to get the melody memory riku within the next five pulls a pvp medal and later on from the pvp medal you were able to get this banner within the next five pulls with other two medals that i think it was the standing class number 10 and 11 i think those were the ones besides the illustrated anthem and melody memory Kyrie b and then we got another banner that it was the Melon Memory Terra Ventus in Aqua, which in this case, those medals were absolutely very amazing. Within the next five pulls, you'll be able to get either Aqua, Ventus, and Terra. Those are Renova medals again. So things started to cool down more, and I think that Square Enix started to notice that, hey, you know what? This is not going to work anymore. So pretty much they ended up giving us all the Melon Memory medals within um, Melon Memory Axel within the next 10 pulls. Melody Memory Shion within the next 10 pulls and the High Score Challenge. Which in this case, that is where the fall, the, the fall down of KMR's Union Cross was absolutely going to end. That and Dark Road, because Dark Road, like, um, they started to give us a new game because they wanted to pull for cards and to give us more money and all that stuff. But to be honest, I'll just give you the heads up. Kingdom Hearts Union Cross or Kingdom Hearts Dark Road is just not for any single player, okay? Only the fan base of Kingdom Hearts yeah I'll give you the truth only this the you know the the fan base of Kingdom Hearts will play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross just because of the story just because of the medals because the gameplay it's just not so good okay uh, there's more gacha games you know like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that that's a gacha game because you need to go again and buy to get your cards I do play that game but I don't waste that because you get gems along the way with a lot of events 
So pretty much that's much um, reasonable. Or Genshin Impact, which in this case that is another gacha game. Genshin Impact it's a lot, it costs you much much more money, but believe me, people does waste a lot of money because of those gacha games. To get your favorite waifu, to get the favorite character that you want, to get the um you know to get a weapon that you really need, and it will sustain to you, and it will absolutely uh, it absolutely give you a lot of strength. Which in this case, Genshin Impact. Have ref he actually got a lot, a lot of money from their first month, a lot of money from their other month, and yeah, pretty much Genshin Impact is actually moving, and that is why this game is actually very good. But for the matter of fact, for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, um, what else are you be able to play? If a new play, if a newcomer player wants to play this game, he will be very confused. Like, hey, how do I actually play this game? How do I actually work with the medals? How does this keyblade works? Even if you have tutorials about what is going on. The gameplay is just so bad, to be honest. So, even so, players from Kingdom Hearts, from the play Kingdom Hearts fan base, is the only players who will be able to play this game. And I don't know if the fan base is a lot or the community is a lot, but for the matter of fact, like wasting your money to try to go ahead and get the medals that you want is just so absurd. So that's why they ended up telling us, hey, you know what? We're not gonna give us more updates. We're just going to end the game because nobody is actually playing it. Dark Road was their biggest deception because bigger the, um, they wanted to waste more money on Dark Road because besides of Unicross, you need to waste on Dark Road. For me, that I was able to buy VIP every single time. Um, I was able to get the golden tickets, which in this case I was not wasting for Dark Road. So that was a big heads up. So from the VIP users who were who were actually buying um, VIP. They were not able to purchase um, jewels or to waste their jewels to go for Dark Road because Dark Road, to be honest, it's another gameplay. It looked amazing from the beginning, but later on we started to notice that Dark Road was just a little bit boring. And the story, the story itself, it was being it was being a little progressive. Okay, every two months maybe or every month we were able to get one story from it, and pretty much that is where everything started to be bad. So. Dark Road, they didn't actually like it, so they come, they focus on Kingdom Hearts. Maybe they were playing Dark Road because you were able to get extra jewels from there, so you'd be able to buy some more things on Unicross. But in the matter of fact, Dark Road was not a success, so that is why they ended up closing everything. All was just for popularity, and of course, um, about if they were able to pull more um, players even so that we got a lot of lot of players to be honest we got a 1 million 2 billion or maybe 3 billion i don't remember how many million of players they were playing union cross but it was still not enough genshin impact has a lot more fan base yugio duel links actually have more um popularity maybe fate go i'm not a, a fan of fate go but um they were able to pull people from there Call of Duty Mobile, um, I don't know, um, Clash, Clash Royale, um, what other gacha game, I don't know, it's, there's a lot of more gacha games that they're much better than Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, which in this case, you're just there for the story, the medals, maybe you're not wasting your money because if, if people are um, smart enough, obviously they're not going to waste their money and something they don't want to do here, so... All started from the anniversary because everything was starting to be good with the five mercy points, and maybe people were trying to get, uh, trying to pull people from here, and maybe the VIP medals are, are um, ended up being a little bit more um, reasonable. But even so, maybe Square Enix decided that hey, you know what, we're investing for something that we're not winning, and maybe it's time to close this, you know, to, to close the game. So that's the biggest truth. Maybe it could be the biggest truth, and. And all this started to give it interest when one of the one of the people who was actually comment from from the little onion stream yesterday um, wake my interest in about how the dark road ended and that's correct. So if you think a bit more, the anniversary was amazing, but when once the anniversary was over, they tried to pull more money from these guys because maybe the anniversary pulled a lot of people and they wanted to get more money to see if they can still invest in this game. But in the matter of fact. The banners was just so bad from the Santa class just to get the Melon Memory Kyrie, which in this case, 120 jewels is a lot of, uh, uh, sorry, 120k of jewels is actually a lot of jewels that just to get one medal that is very useful, but four medals that are, they're not going to be useful in the future. And later on, when we got the Melody Memory Sorbet just because of the pet traits, that was just something stupid. We got the Santa class that it ended up being a little bit more reasonable. Joy Mr. Middles were not amazing. Then obviously the Renova medals that it's Axel B, Roxas, and Xion was just amazing as well. And for the matter of fact, 
you know, the rest of them was just history. But I noticed when Metal the Memory Carry be with the VIP situation, they just wanted to get more money from here. So from this banner, obviously nobody liked it. Even so that it's a buffer metal and it's amazing, um, they just didn't want it to buy VIP. And pretty much from the last banner that it was much more amazing was Metal and Memory Terra, Ventus and Aqua. And then the rest of the banners were just like, hey, you know what? I think it's all, it's it's time to be over with it. There was a lot of more potential from this game, you know, um, um, like the Roboloids um, meme that he said that we were we were missing Yosora, we were missing Illustrated, Kingdom Hearts 3, um, Namine, and I think Luxu with no name. So, or the Master Masters, or I don't know, um, the other Sora from from Quadratum, and I don't know. There's there was a lot of more characters that they needed to put here. Kingdom Hearts 3 forced the four tellers. Um, Luxo or Sigbar, um, those kind of people were just missing. And some other secret, um, you know, some other secret um, bosses from Kingdom Hearts 3. I think there was an abyss, um, you know, the, the Dark Inferno. That was something that we were missing. Um, who else that I've been missing from here? I don't think I'm still missing anybody. Um, no, I think those were the only characters that I were missing. Yeah, I think that I think that's most of the characters that I can think of. But for the matter of fact, I thought uh, when we got Melon Memories, um, you know, Kingdom Hearts Melon Memories, that is where hey, we're gonna get more content. But no, it didn't happen. It didn't actually happen. Maybe they could could have done a collaboration again, you know, like the Final Fantasy Record Keeper or um, what other collaborations that they keep they have done i think that's the last collaboration they have done i think that the you know the the, the you know the final fantasy 7 remake that was the last collaboration that they were able to get and some of their movies which it was soul uh, troll uh, i think trolls right i don't remember what was the name of that movie but yeah pretty much we just started to see that kingdom Hearts union cross and dark road was starting to get the king so so yeah, unfortunately, for um, besides of this talk about how did Mel uh, Mel uh, sorry um, how did Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dark Road was starting to die, um, there's no news, there's nothing important, there's no updates. Pretty much, we got the same. Um, so yeah, I feel sorry for the other people. Like, well, Square um, Smelly Octopus is not playing, but when he noticed this, obviously, his channel. It, I don't know how he's gonna do with his subscribers um, about Roboloid. Roboloid was a very good person who gave me all the information. Well, he posted the information from from his Twitter channel, and obviously for the you know, for the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross contents, um, contents, we, we started to get the information from here. Obviously, he said, "Hey, you know what? That's okay, but just give me your thanks because I'm providing you this information." Big huge thanks to you, Roboloid. If it wasn't for you, I won't be able to get the content that I was getting from your. Um, from your Twitter channel, so I really appreciate it, buddy. Um, I really appreciate it from the very end. Thank you so much. Um, who else? Um, Endolfin. Endolfin was uh, is a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross um, contenter that, in this case, he just provided us like um, some information about few updates that it was important and the showcase of the animation of the character. Which, in this case, he posted you I don't know Melody Memory Carry, and then later on he showed you the animation. Which, in this case. It will, it will make you doubt if you really want the medal or if you don't want the medal. So, good, good. I really, really appreciate the animation um, showcase. I never posted so much from Edelfin. I just mentioned him that, hey, you know what? I saw the animation from, from Endelfin's um, YouTube channel and that is how I actually got it. So, like, oh, uh, so that is a new animation. So, uh, should I pull it or not? Well, you can go ahead and check on Roblox. I'm sorry, on, on what's called? On... Endolfin channel and you'll be able to see it. Another thing that many people was trying to get a controversy here was the animation of each one of the characters. For example, we got the those re animation were renewed. Mel and Mary Axel started to give us a renewed animation. Um, not a renewed animation, but it was from the um, Organization 13 um, animation here. Mel and Mary Xion got a great animation and pretty much Mel and Mary Roxas, no. But all of the other medals that we got here, I think that the best, best animation that we got from from the Renew ones, to be honest, is like if I go to the bottom of here, there's no new animations that we got from, I don't know, maybe Dark Riku. Dark Riku was a great animation medal. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3 Storm Riku, maybe. Um, who else here? Maybe the 
Supernova plus plus Terra Ventus and Aqua, that was a great animation. As long side with the Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra Ventus and Aqua does have a great animation. Um, and what else? Like if you, if you, if I'm scrolling down into the bottom and see how much that we're actually getting a new animation or not. We didn't get new animations. Like all of them were just animation dupes. Maybe Larxene didn't have a great animation because they were using the Kingdom Hearts, um, um, you know, part of the animations from what's called uh, the animations from the Organization 13 medals, the older ones. Um, and who else like look how how I'm scrolling into the bottom to tell you if we had new animations or not like maybe Pirate Sora did have a great animation though but then it started to decay just because of the metals were just so bad Dark Riku as well um, no those were those are reused I think that the best best animation that we recently got from last year was just anti aqua okay and don't give me the wrong idea, maybe like, oh, so you're just a hardcore fan of, of, of Antioquia, obviously. No. How, how many times do you see the animation of Antioquia from other metals, from any other um, me, um, Aqua metals? Nothing. Have you seen the animation of Antioquia in other, on other metal? No. Obviously not. And the Supernova QR number 21, but that metal ended up getting a reuse animation every time. Every time from the stained glass metal, every time from the what other metal from the illustrated Kingdom Hearts 3 um, Sora, from the uh, and from, from Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora, so you're not gonna tell me that those metals are not reused, okay? But yeah, pretty much the controversy was for animations, but of course, if people wanted more animation, Square Enix needed to have more money so they would be able to still invest in their game, but. And a matter of fact, that is how the situation ended. I don't know, to be honest, how did they actually ended up um, closing the game, but that is my honest opinion. That is where Square Enix wanted to have us more money because they really needed to invest into this game. But, you know, that's my opinion. That is the opinion of the other person from Little Onion um, stream. And I don't know. I just wanted to give you this video because we're not having any more content from, from Sunday. Sunday, usually, we get more content, but there is no content anymore. So that's that's... That brings a tear in my eye, okay guys? So, only only thing that I can say is that for people who did saw my stream, I really appreciate that you it really ended up giving me my stream here. I think there was, uh, I, as long as I know, it was Miro X who was um, comment every time. There was a there was a, a person who speaks Spanish that I give um, some information. He didn't want the stream to end because he knew that it was going to be the end, but I just finished my stream and it was like, I'm sorry, buddy. I have to end the stream. Um, there was another French guy over there and, and then later on, there was another... Um, maybe two or three people who started to comment a lot of things though so i really appreciate those people who were actually commenting a lot of stuff um mr paul gomez i think yeah I, I, he was commenting a thing and then later on he didn't want he didn't comment more but even so in the matter of fact i really really appreciate the stream it was just a long time stream those 32.5k was of, of jewels that i actually pulled for the seven star deal was just so amazing even so that i didn't got the the, the two knock one I was able to get Aqua and Stitch and HD Aqua, which in this in this case you were not able to get those medals anymore. And I was very very excited about the medals that I were not able to get, but I was able to get them in the very end. There was a lot of VIP medals there. There was a lot of high score challenge there. There was a lot of other medals that it was not existent. So I really really appreciate that people were able to get. It. And it was a hit of a nostalgia for me because I never got those medals and I was so excited to get what medals I was able to get, what other medals that I was able to not get from the beginning and pretty much the stream was ended up being a very successful stream so well guys later on I don't know what day but I'll do a video about what is going to be the future of my con of my video here so I can give you heads ups here it's, this, is, this is something going to be um, you know this is something I can let you know guys but there's five options here or maybe four options one, I can still continue to give you Kingdom Hearts um, content. Um, this channel will still remain as a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross channel until the end of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, which is going to be May. Until the very end of the story, when we get theater mode and offline mode, I'll give you more videos. From, from there, I'm not going to be able to give you more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross videos because there's no more content from there. Or I don't know what is going to happen. It all depends upon what is going to... What is, um, 
you know offline mode is gonna give us I think it's just gonna be theater mode and then change your avatar boards and that's all you're not gonna have your your medals again you're not gonna have anything it's just going to be a race out of existence now dark road is going to be the same maybe dark road are going to provide us a bit more of story because there's a bit more story that is going to be giving us but from there it's going to be over so once that is over I won't be able to post more, no more Kingdom Hearts Unicross videos because there's not going to be more content. So that's the only downfall. It's not because I don't want to. It's just because of the fact that there's not going to be more content from that. Now, second of all, do you want me to do any kind of gaming channel here? Because I really love video games. But the fact that I, I stopped to give us like random video game um, gameplay is because people were just there for Kingdom Hearts Unicross. There was some other content in my YouTube channel. Um, you know, I think there's a video of Fortnite there, there's a video of Spyro the Dragon, the Ignite Trilogy. Um, I posted one Crash Bandicoot um, game, and then um, Mortal Shell, I think. So, this is just because of the fact that I wanted to give you more content about what other games that I used to play. That's why I add more um, soundtracks from the game, you know, from YS, from Halo, from... I don't know, uh, Knights of Azure, um, I don't know, there's a lot of games that I really like that I want to share to you guys. But you know, every time that I post a video, many people doesn't see it because, uh, I don't know, from the uh, 300 and 400 views from, from one video, from a gameplay, from a different game, I just get to get 9 or 10 views, which in, 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 that, in that case, that means that people doesn't want to see some other content they just want to see kingdom Hearts union cross of course and i understand it because most of the content of the games are just concentrated on kingdom hearts um another thing that i can give you is that do you want me to play or stream kingdom Hearts games like in this case uh the content of the kingdom Hearts games are there like from kingdom Hearts one to uh bird by sleep rechain of memories Drip Drop Distance, 0 0.2, and Kingdom Hearts 3, and Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind is there. But, you know, I think that the most content that I was able to get from it was from Kingdom Hearts Remind. Because from Kingdom Hearts 3, not many people didn't like the, you know, didn't like the gameplay and all that stuff. And, and you know, from the views, I just got like, I don't know, 10 or 12 views or, or just a little bit. Because, you know, I think that people from the beginning didn't want to be spoiled. But from the matter of fact, do you want me to go ahead and continue with the Kingdom Hearts content? Like, I can still g give you some gameplay from Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, um, you know, the, you know, this, the, the, the movies from, from Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days. Or do you want me to go ahead and play Kingdom Hearts from, from the PC? I can go ahead and try and give it a try though. Um, well, ex I think it's just going to be Kingdom Hearts 3 and 0 0.2 because, in the matter of fact, we already know how to play Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Bird by Sleep and that I can give you that information on my PlayStation 4 but if you want me to go ahead and like want me to play it on the PC to see how how good the graphics are I can go ahead and give it a try though I can go ahead and see like hey you know what I'm able to play Kingdom Hearts 3 not with the highest graphics because this memory um this graphic card it's an NVIDIA GTX 950, 950 which in this case it has 4 gigabytes of video graphic card to be honest, that graphic card is very amazing. Um, if I go check on Amazon, it costs $350, which in this case, and from my end, it cost me like around $49. So yeah, I can't believe that the graphic cards ended up being a lot more higher just because of the fact from the pandemic, the PC situations are actually much, um, you know, that it's more expensive. Now, from the matter of fact, um, I think I'll be able to play Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts Melody, well, Melody Memories doesn't matter because I don't want to post anything about Melody Memories just because of the fact that Disney are copywriting all their soundtracks, so I don't, I wouldn't like that. Um, another thing that I can give you here is that if you want me to play on the PC, I will be playing maybe just Kingdom Hearts 3 because 0 0.2, maybe I just want to play it because to see how smooth it is to actually play it, but to be honest, you're just playing, you're just buying one game, which in this case is just going to be 3 drop distance because 0 0.2 just provides you like 3 or 4 hours of gameplay, but of course we're talking about Aqua, so it's like, I think he's going to buy it just because the Aqua participates in there. And I want to see if the 60 frames per second from the PC is going to be very smooth, very amazing, because to be honest, the um, frames per second on Kingdom Hearts 3 on the PlayStation 4 was kind of a smoothing, but in the matter of fact from the PC it's going to be much better. That, or the last one that I can provide to you, is going to be my fourth option, which is Genshin Impact. 
Genshin Impact is a very good gacha game. It's very expensive because you are um, to get the character. It's going to be very very hard to get. Um, I see people that from the beginning of the game they just they just only have like their five star character that it's the main character Lumine or Aether depending. I know there's a collide battle that um, Aether is the canon person and Lumine is just like a background game. But in the matter of fact, like Genshin Impact is it's a very impactful game. Many people like it because their seinus or the Japanese voice actors are very recognition. Like for example, Lumine is Mami Chan from Rana Girlfriend, I think. Um, a third is Katsuya, I think that was the name. I don't remember from the from the same anime. Um, the new character that is Hutao is Megumi from from Konotsuba. Who else that I'm missing from there? Um, Emilia from from Re Zero. Um, Xiao, the most expected animo character, is actually Kirito from Sao from Sword Art Online. Um, who else that I'm missing? Um, D look the the, the the most per amazing DPS that I have but it's not surprising it's Juja from Yu-Gi-Oh um, what was the name of the, the anime Yu-Gi-Oh what um, okay it was Sexal and then from Sexal what was the other one uh, I forgot about the name of the of the character of Arc V oh I forgot Arc V it was Arc V yeah Juja from Yu-Gi-Oh Arc V um, who else that I'm missing um, Official from what was the name official? It was a little, uh, it was a little girl with an eye patch that she was in love with Yuya. I don't remember. I, I haven't seen that anime, but you get, you know, many people likes to play the game just because of the, the fact that their Japanese voice actors is there. Maybe people from English doesn't give a like a doesn't give a uh, uh, as if, but. I know. I, I really like to play that game just because of the of the Japanese characters. So, so yeah, I, I really like to play it. Um, then later on in the latest update, there is a, a character called Dennis Cleef. I don't remember the name correctly, but he was the voice of Overhaul from um, from Boku no Hero or My Hero Academy and Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. And I was like. I started to get him uh, excited when I said, "Oh my God, it's Zero Kaiba!" So yeah, I really, Zero Kaiba's Japanese voice actor is very amazing, um, and I can give you more and more and more examples about the more Japanese voice actors because I'm not an otaku. I can just let you know I'm a video gamer, uh, but in the matter of fact, many people started to play the game in Japanese. Um, and my last option will be League of Legends on Japanese as well because just because of the fact to be man of culture and all that stuff. There's a lot of Japanese voice actors there that I really, really want you to see about it. I think that the la uh, there is a Kingdom Hearts um, character from League of Legends. It was Master G. He's the character from Axel, but rest in peace because that voice actor did um, disease. He he got the disease from cancer. Many people thought that it was from the Corona that was from last year, but people started to notice that it was cancer, and pretty much he died from cancer. So rest in peace. I forgot the name of the of the voice actor, but he was he was Axel and Master Yi's, um, um, you know, voice character. I think that was the only Kingdom Hearts um, um, character that I was able to see. But you know, Seth, the 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 Vastaya person, the Vast the the most powerful Vastaya person, is the Obrando from JoJo Bizarre Adventure, or who else that I can give you? Um, Vague artist. Um, it's Tankiro from from Demon Slayer, or um, who else that I'm missing? Um, something that I really like to renew. Yashuo is um, a Scanner, um, Katakuri, um, uh, Katakuri from from One Piece, a Scanner from um, se the Seven Deadly Sins, um, and who else that I'm missing? Ranga the Blood Edge from from Blaze Blue. So yeah. Um, those kind of uh, I'm just recognizing all those kind of characters because you know it's something that I really wanted to give you the heads up so so yeah let me know what you want me to do in the comments below I'm gonna do more uh, you know a more simplified um, video about that but I just wanted to give you the heads up about what is gonna be the future of the con on my YouTube channel within the next three months once that this um, game is gonna be totally over so I'm just giving you the heads up. What do you want me to give you content? I know that people are gonna tell me Genshin Impact. I don't know if people are gonna tell me gaming. 
I don't know if people are gonna say, hey, you know what? Maintain your channel as a, as a Kingdom Hearts U, um, Union Cross channel, but how? There's not gonna be more content. There's not gonna be any more um, information that we're gonna have, and people are going to unsubscribe just because of the fact that they're here for Union Cross, of course. But Union Cross is going to be an end, so I wanna be able to give you more content because there's no more content that's gonna be over there. So. I know it's going to be understandable, I don't know if people, they're going to stay here just because they're loyal or they just wanted the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross content, but like I mentioned, I never say subscribe to my channel because that's a matter of fact, subscribe to my channel, it's forbidden to say for my channel because obviously people are going to say, hey, you know what, subscribe to my channel so I'll be more, I'm getting more subscribers and we're going to be more gaming more content or whatever, and it's just like, that's not my style, you know, that's not my style. Uh, the biggest style that I can give you is just like, you know what? Is your decision if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you want, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you don't, go ahead and see my channel. No worries. I don't want to say um, subscribe to my channel because, to be honest, um, you know, some words that Little Onion did tell me, getting recognized from YouTube is going to be very, very hard. And I can admit that. It's actually very hard. But in the matter of fact, like I mentioned to you, it's, I, it's actually very hard to... To give you more information about that so so let me know in the comments below like what do you want me to do on my Kingdom Hearts Union, um, Kingdom Hearts Union, um, Union Cross channel do you want me to, to still stay loyal to Kingdom Hearts because getting Kingdom Hearts content is gonna be very very hard it's, it's not that the fact that I'll be able to get more information from the director from from you know from the Tsuya Nomura or the information that the gamer joints gave us a lot of content back then that they were providing us more information about um, the developer games about what, what we're gonna have or something like that. It's not gonna be easy Yes, it's not gonna be easy and maybe people will not be interested just because of the fact that I don't know um, I don't know when they're going to release more Kingdom Hearts games, so I wouldn't be able to see But well, I think it's been a long time that I've been posting this video I don't know how much time that I've been doing this. Oh my god 40 minutes <laughs> So, yeah, I should have done a stream, don't you think? But I was not planning to do a stream. I was just giving you the information about how the Kingdom Hearts started to decay. Uh, we're not getting more content. And what is going to be the future of my, on my channel. So, you know, there's still three months. So I'm going to do another video about, hey, you know what? What kind of content do you want? Do you want me to do a gaming? Do you want me to do League of Legends um, Japanese? Uh, do you want me to play Genshin Impact? Do you still want me to remain as a Kingdom Hearts content, um, you know, um, to give you more Kingdom Hearts content? Or do you want me to stream um, all of the videos, uh, I'm sorry, all of the games from Kingdom Hearts, from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts um, 3, or Melody, Mem well, Melody Memories, I'm just going to discard that because, you know, the copyright strike from the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack is very bad, so I, I don't want to stream that one. And if you want me to play the Kingdom Hearts um, 3 on the PC, let me know, because I'm starting to notice that I wanted to upgrade my, my PC to Windows 10. I just need to buy another hard drive disk um, because the hard drive disk that I have, it's, it's starting to decay. So there's some issues that if I go to my um, to my equipment and I check on properties, sorry if it's in Spanish, um, you, you can see that it's actually not good because of the fact that the, the, well, this is for people who see Spanish, it says Velocidad de Transferencia de Datos en el Disco, which it means that it's the, the speed of transferring data in my disk, which in this case is very bad, which in the matter of fact, it says that my, my hard drive disk is starting to, to decay. So if I buy that, I'll just install Windows 10, we'll be able to get, I don't know if I really want a hard drive, di um, solid drive disk, just because of the fact that I don't know what to do like about my PC. I'm, I'm starting to get an upgrade though because don't give me the wrong idea. Um, no, I, I'm not going to show you that information. Um, but in the matter of fact, let me know. I, I think that I will be able to play Kingdom Hearts 3 on this PC. I just need to upgrade it to Windows 10 and we'll be able to get go through. So, well guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I'm sorry if I actually entertained yourself with this, with this talk, but... I don't know what to post, like there's no information about Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, not even the Square Enix Bricks is giving us info, not even the Kingdom Hearts Insider, and the most information that I was able to get was from Robloid that we're getting the Coliseum um, for the next month, that is going to be March. But like I mentioned, there's nothing else that we're going to have here. Um, pretty much the Coliseum skill can be purchased from the Moogle Shop, so it's just like, if you want to rank, there you go. If you don't, then just keep it like it is, and just continue on. So we're not getting more content. 
that's it's it's the baddest truth we're not gonna get a vip we're not gonna have more more quests or uh, well the only quest that we're gonna have is just going to be the story but from there there's not gonna be more content so i just wanted to give you the heads up about what else do you want me to stream or what else do you want me to put on the channel let me know in the comments below let me know because if I post something and people doesn't like it, what is going to happen? Unsubscribe. And I worked so hard. I, I say that I don't subscribe to my channel. But for the people who did subscribe to my channel, I think that people will start to unsubscribe just because there's not going to be more Kingdom Hearts Union for us. So that's the biggest fear. I've been doing this for two years and I only have 419 subscribers, I think. Um, I think I got more subscribers from the stream of pulling. But this is just for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. What will happen when I don't have the content? There's going to start to unsubscribing. And to be honest, those two years, by getting a lot those kind of subscribers, it is very hard, to be honest. Or you can get recognition by just doing a lot of stuff. But, you know, I, I don't want to talk more because pretty much I know that we're going to be entertaining for another hour. And I don't want to do that. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think that I should be um, giving you as a content creator of Kingdom Hearts? or more because if, if we have more content from other diverse games believe me i'll give you the content like if i was good at giving you content from kingdom Hearts union cross i'll be able to give you more content from other games don't give me the wrong idea i'm i'm able to search a lot of information just because of the fact that i um i study um engineering and it and believe me gathering information is something that i do so don't if you want me to say hey give us more content of another game believe me i'll give you the info now it's, it's it's kind of hard to get the info but it won't be impossible so well guys enjoy your sunday may hearts be your guiding key i'll see you guys into the next video that i don't know when i'm gonna post another video but i'll see what i can do okay i'll try to give you more in touch just to give it a heads up i'm not gonna change my my content until the very end of kingdom hearts until we get offline mode until the story is ending when that happens that is where i'm gonna change my channel or i'm gonna change the content but right now we're still gonna stick on kingdom hearts union cross i don't know what kind of other things that we're gonna have but i'm gonna be stick and loyal to kingdom hearts until the very end so you'll be guaranteed with that well guys i won't take much of your time enjoy your sunday and i'll see you guys into the next video see you guys later peace guys